Legend here. Welcome back to Age of Wonders 3 where we're just about to take this fight. It says probable defeat, but looking at the armies, I'm relatively confident here. They only have two Stalkers. We have three full stacks, though one of the stacks is relatively weak. We have some strong stuff though. Double Eldritch Horror, double Node Serpents, a Watcher, double Griffin Riders, and two pretty good heroes. We'll head in there. We have some good options uh, for how to fight this too. We can hang back and uh, use the double gravity thing so that the four succubus can't get over the walls. We can also keep our range units back and then send everything else over the walls to fight. We also have our chaos rift that we can cast, but that will uh, cost like 140 mana and casting points because Marker is not part of the battle. So that's kind of a last resort. If he uses Battlefield Panic, then we might use the Chaos Rift. Because even if you resist Battlefield Panic, it uh, it shakes you. And because we're still under Age of Deception, that could be nasty. So uh, first turn, I don't think I'm going to cast any spells. Because if we cast Double Gravity now, and it ended up that we needed the Chaos Rift, we wouldn't be able to do it. We've got Mass Stasis, we've got Static Elect. Because some great choices here. Great we and a great reawakening, of course, that we got um, from that mythical tower. So nothing's going to be able to get a shot this turn. But how do we want to set up? I usually put my my heroes quite far forward so they can use their ranged weapons from the walls. But we need to be careful with it. Malgus, we need to be careful of his stench. Uh, but I think we are going to... No, we'll leave Malgus there. We'll leave Malgus there. Uh, do you have like any buffs or anything? You can, what is this? Throw harpoon. He has a musket as well. That's pretty nice. And he has damage on a good amount of channels over here. We've got some black knights. This side is going to be kind of weak. So just bring an eldritch horror over here to reinforce these orcs. And... That'll do. Does he use Battlefield Panic? That's the, that's the, that's the, he does. And it seemed to prop quite a few times there. That was nasty. Those guys disgusted. One, two, three, four, five, six things panicked. Maybe more. That sucks. And loads of throw curses as well. So they're all going to run away for a couple of turns, but it will be back. Maybe three turns. Resisting the curses, at least. But uh, after the sh after the two turns of shaken, we should be able to come back into this fight. Now, do we use chaos rift? Now it will take all of our casting points, which means our disjunct on the strategic layer will be delayed for a turn. But it will help even things up after this freaking battlefield panic. At least none of our heroes were panicked. I think I'm going to go for it. Takes most of our mana. Remember, we do have Yurata, who can um, cast Chain Lightning. He only has 40 cast points, so he can cast it once. I think we are going to Chaos Rift here. How do you like this? Hopefully, he spent all of his casting points casting Mass Battlefield Panic, so we won't be able to disjunct, the, disjunct this. If he disjuncts it... That's going to suck. Here we go. Here's the Chaos Rift. There is the Rift. And it's going to do wonders for us starting next turn. But this turn... Look how pissed off everyone is now because of that shaken on top of the... Fumble on top of the Age of Deception. Going to be fumbling a lot here early on. Those guys got stunned. That was nice. You have no ranged attacks. Where is our hero? Here he is. Yeah, you're in a bad mood. Does this count as range penalty? It does. What about the harpoon? Anything else longer range? No, we're going to have to move up then. Hopefully this is far enough. Yes. That's big damage there. Don't fumble. Oh, I fumbled. Still some decent damage. You're running away, so we can't use your range attack. Malgus is still in play. Could bring you up here. So let's see once and for all, because people do get disgusted as you walk past them. 
Oh, this is probably not the time to experiment. I want to see how long it lasts after you walk past them. Can we finish this guy off, maybe? I don't think so. We do have the Chamber of Secrets up. Chamber of Mysteries, sorry. Which is nice. You guys just put some damage on. You're not gonna... You're not gonna do a whole lot. Unfortunately. Where's our priest? You're here, so you can come over here and use your primal scream, which gets all the orc units. It doesn't get all the orc units. But those guys will come back soonish. Oh, we can try and dominate the hero. She's only level five. We could try to. But for now, I think we'll, we'll, we will uh, keep this Eldritch behind the walls. And wait, you guys are both running away. This Eldritch Horror can... He could run up and get this kill here. But this guy's stunned. It's not like he's going to do anything next turn. We could run up and do our... Uh, shock Breath, but I don't want him to just instantly die from being charged by everything. Because that is an Eldritch Horror. So I think we're going to kind of play it safe. Camp behind our walls. At least one more turn here. We can cast Chain Lightning next turn with Yurata. And then we can start putting Last Stand and stuff on people from Malgus if need to. So they, she's going to heal there. You're going to heal there. Ouch. Okay, Shadow Stalker's up. That one's up too. They're both up. There's those range attacks. From the Dark Pact of those ladies. That's annoying. Black Surgeon is doing some work. Apprentices are under pressure here. The Shield of Dispassion is nice. I'm liking it. Here's the Chaos Rift. Oh, there's the Prismatic Spire. Here's the Chaos Rift. Look at that. That is beautiful. Does it three times? Oh, no. Does it twice? It does it two to three times, I think. And we got a free Frost Element, although it spawned very, very far away. You guys are all running away, which is really annoying. But at least you can't run off the field. How much easier this fight would be without that. But I guess that's what late game spells are about. Okay. We need to kill these Shadow Stalkers. Is what we need to do. We've got Malgus in play, but he can't do a huge amount. These guys... Oh, the Succubus got stunned by something. Oh, I think you... You took a melee attack from the Black Priest and, she, and, he, and they stunned you. But you don't have any movement left, so you can't do anything. Our Black Knight is going to come in here and get the kill. Fumble, but eventually get the kill. Nice. Eldritch Horror is going to help us do some work on this uh, Shadow Stalker. This should be a flank from here, right? Yes. Oh, and frozen by the Frost Aura, but... Uh, these guys can move back and do this and kill that bastard. Where's the other one? Here he is. So can we kill this guy without getting any freaking melee attacks? We could send Malgus back here, turn him around with a crossbow hit, fumble, but then send these guys back here, get two range attacks. Not a huge amount of damage though. We could bring our Watcher up. Which I think is worth. Maybe Petrify? Another Fumble! At least we get rid of Shaken next turn. Node Serpent. Kind of want to come in and just finish off this Inquisitor here. Uh, do we bring Yurati over? I think we do. Get at least one attack on the Shadow Stalker. Oh, he's going to fumble it as well. Of course he is. Okay, you. Is this a flank if you come here? Maybe. It's not a huge amount of damage though, is it? I think we'll bring you out. That wasn't the perfect place to get the... Uh, shock Breath from. It's a little bit better. Ah, oh, you fumbled the Shock Breath. Still killed the Inquisitor though. And those... And it leveled up. I think I want to tie up these Blight Surgeons. Here's that Frost Elemental. It's the Tier 2 version, I think. 
Oh, it's a tier 3 version. He can't move him, though. Which sucks. Oh, we should have used our chain lightning on Yarati. Or Yarato, whatever the hell his name is. That was a dumb thing. I don't want to charge these succubuses because they can seduce me next turn. We might have to just incur the wrath of this Shadow Stalker. Oh, he's fumbled. Look at the damage to our Griffin. You're dead next turn, most likely. No one else can move. You guys are all still running away. For how long? You can't, I can't even select these guys here. There we go. Yeah, you're panicked still. And everyone is still shaken, right? Yeah. But that should all end next turn. Let's go. Should have done the chain lightning. Don't think it would have got a kill on the Shadow Stalker, but it might have. So he's down. Shadow Stalker going to attack something else now. Seduce resisted. Well done. But he's shaken for two turns again. Chains of Condemnation resisted. Nice. Ouch. What was that? What did you just kill? I don't know. Longbow doing things. Succubus coming in. Does not attempt to seduce. Some of that stuff. Oh, you're going after my Frost Elemental. Prismatic Spire. Here comes a Chaos Rift. That's what you get, Sunshine. Oh, we can't. I guess we're not going to be uh, dominating her because she died. Oh, that's the new summon. Beautiful. Okay, not not the worst turn ever. We did lose something over here, though. What was it? Was it just the... Uh, I think it was just the Apprentices. Didn't quite catch what it was. This Eldritch Horror is no longer frozen, which is nice. Can we dominate the Inquisitor? No, they have really high resistance. I don't think that's worth doing. We still have these guys. And you should be enough by yourself to take out these shadow stalkers yes nice these guys are all back in play too we're in a good place now good place i'll throw curse how do you like curses not very nice is it let's cast the chain lightning because we've never seen this thing before oh no everyone's really spread out so it's not going to jump i guess we can get these two. Oh, and the succubus that's nice boom See how, how much easier those Shadow Stalker fights would have been if we had Chain Lightning on Marker earlier, but I've never seen it come up. We're going to kill you. Nice. You're right, he's casted a spell, so he's moved. Malgus, what's Malgus going to do? Just going to move up and shoot your crossbow, I think. Do that. What's your health like, Mr. Node Serpent? Not too bad, but you are really pissed off because you got shaken again. Succubus is panicked. Oh, it's a fumble. She might get hit back. No, she didn't. Oh, I don't think they, I don't think they retaliate when they are panicked, actually. Which is a good thing to try and remember. Uh, Frost Elemental, can you get anywhere? Can you fight this guy and kill him? Let's see. You do not keep those units, by the way, at the end of the fight. Because that would be insane. Orc Black Knight. You're actually going to do well. Because look at this. Yeah, because he's got Polearm. And he gets the charge. That was some really nice damage. Oh, there's another Goblin Blight Surgeon here. Let's get Warcry up. And charge the bastard. Orcs actually held their own pretty well. Didn't quite kill him. Disappointing. You guys can't get close enough to attack. Neither can this Orc Greatsword. Oh, Razor Bows. Can you get a shot? Anywhere? Please? Nope. Nope. Node Serpent. Uh, I mean, we might as well sprint you. You're not going to get close enough. Hail Storm Sister. Uh, wait. Why can't you move? Oh, you got barely any movement left. You must have resisted a bunch of curses. You can't shoot anything. And turn. Just the those succubus left are the biggest threat. But uh, we should be able to deal with this pretty easily. Something's died. That was the Orc Black Knight, I think. Oh, that was a lot of damage. That was a crit. You're dead. 
more lovely Chaos Rifts. What a spell. Summons things in awkward places though. Okay, let's use this Frost Elemental. And uh, do some work over here. Could freeze, could chill. Yeah, you gotta freeze. Uh, oh, you can't get close enough. You can still shock breath him though. And fumble it, damn you. Not the worst damage ever though. You guys can come and charge in. Hopefully you don't fumble, but your morale is pretty damn low. Oh, he mo he fumbled. Oh, do these guys have disgusting stench? I don't think I realised that. Oh no, you're disgusted. That must have been from a Black Doctor throw ages ago. Black Surgeon, I should say. Let's go Black Doctors. What do you have as your range attack? Banefire. And you can't hit anyone with it. Good. Oh, great sword is probably not going to do anything in this fight. Well, Crazy Bow can get up to a wall somewhere and take a shot. Bleeding, I'll take it. Uh, would be nice to get Malgus down off of here to fight in melee, but uh, we'll keep shooting his bow. Ah, oh, fumble it then. Leveled up. Nothing else on this side right now. Trying to get some XP on my Watcher. I love these guys. Pretty lucky. Oh, petrified. Nice. Pretty lucky to get two of those summoned in this uh, game from that summon fantastic creature thing. High off Griffin Rider. Get a flank and a charge and big damage. What level are you, Eldritch Warrior? You could do some level, sure. Crap. So it's just that Blight Surgeon and that Inquisitor alive now, I think. By the way, anyone thinking of um, purchasing this game and you perhaps don't like fighting tactical battles, there are some people out there that don't like tactical battles and stuff, you can watch them and put auto combat on and, and watch the AI take turns for you and then you can stop it and step in to, to do things, like to cast certain spells or whatever. It's a pretty nice option to play. Yeah. Hail Storm Sister. Sure. Go for a nice walkabout. Oh, Yurati. Yurati. It is Yurati. Is uh, maybe in range for a shot or something? Nope. It's just end turn. You're dead. You might die just from the rift. And you do. And you'll still get a summon even though the fight's over. Beautiful. You saw the power of the Chaos Rift there. Did we? What did we lose? We lost a High Elf Griffin Rider, we lost the Apprentices and a couple of Orc units. And that is the Lich Queen. Holy crap. She is moving in. She wants the Yandin too. Oh, that's not actually her. That's just the Dread Reaper. Where is Lich Queen? They're going to crash themselves on our city, so we'll just wait for them to attack. Demalgus lost some stuff there. Oh yeah, what did the Druid drop? What is this? Devour target corpse to regain 25 health. That's pretty crazy. That would actually fit Stinky Malgus pretty well, but I like the weapon he's got. So we'll just... Does anyone... Is anyone missing a weapon? Uh, Marker's got a pretty bad one. But I don't want the devouring corpses, really. And we've got this thing as well. It's bleeding units. We can just sell this. We'll just sell these things. Because how often is... Mark are going to get close enough to eat a corpse. Where is she? Gone to gone past her. There she is. Oh, we didn't send it to her. Damas. Malgus has got them all. Down here. Shall we give it to him? I do like his pole arm and his life steal. Oh, this gives him life steal as well. Uh huh. Fine, Maka can have it. She can eat some corpses, whatever. And a longbow, sure. We do need to replenish his army, if we can. We need to replenish these frontline armies here, which are going to be the brunt of the attack. Get a razor bow. Inquisitor can join Malgus. And so can one of these bow fellas. There we go. Yeah, so he must have attacked this hex 
which meant these three armies only. So if you move this here, move this here, it might be harder for him to do that in the future. Should have caught that earlier. Upgrade Malgus. Oh, we can get toughness. I think that is the way to go. He's still got two points. Armor piercing. That might be useful if we end up fighting the Dreadnought. There's a lot of armored units, I think, to do that. Upgrade marker. Um, nothing really tasty you can get. I guess break control is useful. Steel enchantment could be useful. And uh, let's give you some fire protection, sure. Because those, that dreadnought here, that dreadnought leader, Gustav, is going to have flame tanks and stuff. You can't make it there. Oh, you've got a walking unit, haven't you? Just giants, so you can't get around the rapids. Or rather, you can't get over the rapids. Whatever. You go wherever the hell I sent you. Etsinia is going to keep moving up to this inn. Hopefully find something nice in there. Oh, it's not even been cleared out yet. Oh, Maka can't make it up there. Oh, look at this. A Dread Reaper and a Bone Collector in here. And she's now isolated. But uh, we will auto-combat this. Took some damage there. What the hell? And what can we get? A Draconian Flyer. Not the most impressive tier 3 unit, but sure. We've got money to burn. We'll grab it. This thing gives you a bunch of casting points, plus 50, but then there's some kind of cataclysm, which could be fun, but it's quite an, it's quite a difficult stack, actually. Tier 3 elementals, which can do a lot of crap to you, and a node serpent, so I think we'll keep pressing on towards the east. Mark, I can't get any closer, so this, this army's going to attack one of them, most likely her, since she's damaged, and we'll, hopefully she does okay, because Dread Reapers are nasty. They have a an ability literally called Death or something. Invoke death, which will just kill something unless it can resist an 11 strength attack. Otherwise, they lose a bunch of hit points, so that's pretty scary. What are you doing? You are chilling out here. And so are you. Okay, so Yandan got affected by the Chaos Rift, unfortunately. Which um, messes up the morale for 10 turns, wow. So I need to be careful using that on city defences, but I think it was warranted there. Because Oh, here's the hero. She's level 20. Magnhidl. Uh, Magnhidl. The Undying. Magnhidl. Sure. What have you got? I can't see your items, but she's got insane amounts of awesome stuff. Big protection from frost. Immunity, in fact. Regrowth. Fearsome. And reanimate dead. She's a pain in the ass. Her army's not that impressive, though. And might have some nice items for us. Let's go next turn. So that delayed. I'll dis. Wait a second. I'll disjunct. Uh, disappeared from here. He, might, he must have ended it himself, then, I guess. Very likely victory. Let's manual combat this so you can see these Dread Reapers. <laughs> we're having a nice little... We're having a titanic struggle at this nice little inn. A Dread Reaper fighting something from another dimension over here. The Old Rich Horror. I wonder if people are looking out the windows at this fight. Those buildings seem really small. So, um... You only have 13 resistance, Eldritch Horror. You better not get invoked death. Uh, do you have any spells? You only have last stand, don't you? Not really worth anything. These little gates in the way are annoying. We're going to electrify you. The Draconian Flyer will send you out as guinea pig. Build a little canary in here. Node Serpent's really damaged, so we need to be careful with you. Edsinia can move up. Throw her spear, maybe? Do this. You can do this. Nothing spectacular. I'm guessing I can't dominate any of these guys. Oh, you don't have mind control immunity. You probably do. 
Yeah, we'll try and dominate the bone clip. This is the Necromancer tier three, which, as you can see, doesn't it doesn't matter what race you are. It's always the same thing because it's a massive collection of bones. It's actually a really cool model. What does it have? Decent melee damage, good defense, good resistance, can wall crush, can collect bones, collect bones of dead units and add them to yourself. You heal, gain more attack, gain more max hit points and plus one resistance. That's pretty good. Oh, but it's, you're spending your entire turn doing this, I, I assume. It's not like a passive thing where you can just walk over them and get it, I don't think. Killing momentum. Demolisher times two. And he's undead, so he has all the, all the things that undead things have. You're not close enough to do any of that, so I just went. Oh, we got another node serpent. And end our turn. See how scary these things are. You are not a threat. Go away. Invoke death resisted. Thank goodness for that. It's in your kind of damage you're doing over here. Pretty good damage. We can not seduce. We can war cry. Hang on, does this work? No. Whoops. Come on, Insinia, do some work. And do this. Resist. Oh, she's panicked now, damn it. Man. They're in court period as well. Oh, come on, we're panicked. Something that's fearsome shouldn't be able to get panicked. That's actually really bad. Because we don't have any ranged units here. We do have... A bunch. We can mass stasis, maybe. So they just can't do anything next turn. We can try that. Oh, you can't do it on a Dread Reaper. Only the Bone Collector would be affected. We could put static electricity up. It's freaking expensive. But it doesn't seem like we need to disjunct anymore. So let's do it. I mean, we can't stun the Dread Reaper, I'm guessing, but at least it'll do damage every time he melee attacks someone. Oh, High Elf Storm Maiden's still in play. You do anything good? Don't really want you fighting this thing. We do have a chance to stun. I kind of want to pour all of the damage I can onto the, the uh, Dread Reaper over here. I want you to uh, teleport on flanking position maybe let's do you first please don't panic well done he didn't panic you're gonna move up they can't get close enough to really do anything those lost souls over there oh no you're exposed because you're all near it's I forgot about that die Oh, yeah, she's going to try and run. That's going to try and run. That really sucks. They're going to get off the field as well. Look at this. We need to try and keep turning this guy around, getting flanking hits. And resisting those fearsomes. Nice. Well, you didn't resist it. Did you resist it? Well done. Dread Reaper's almost gone to six hit points. Uh, we're going to use our... You already? Did you already go? You did already go. We don't have anyone else. We only have this guy. So we'll kill him. But the Bone Collector's going to get some... Three flanking hits. On... Oh, he's got a Void Explosion when he dies. That's bad. Oh, these bastards are back. Come on, flyers. Well done. You died saving the rest of us. Man, that node serpent's hurt. But we did some really mental damage to this bone collector here. And you should be able to finish off this. Nice. A tough fight. Dread Reapers do not mess around. 
Uh, Alright, this is the attack on Eandon, which should be very easy. So we're just going to auto that. Don't lose anyone. I know it's a Dread Reaper. He could invoke death, but he did not. And here comes the hero, and she'll attack us next turn. Empire quest completed. Heroic skill? What is this? Be the first hero... Have a hero or leader reach level 15. Awesome. We get five bonus skill points. Can we get anything with those... Who gets it? Who got it? Was it you? Etsinia got it. Well done. Um, you can get some cool spells, but she's not. Re we're not really using her as a spellcaster. Melee command is always good. First strike she already has because of her weapon, right? Is that right? No, that was Malgus' weapon. So I think first strike would be pretty damn good for her. She usually has it because she often puts last stand on herself, but uh, let's make sure she has first strike all the time. There we go. And defense command is pretty damn good. Plus one defense for everyone. Um, sure, get some frost protection. Get some break control for a little bit of utility maybe. Monster Slayer. Do the... Uh, I don't think they do count as monsters. The Shadow Stalkers. Let's just get Break Control. Blood Honor's pretty good too. Age of Magic researched. Do we have... Oh, we definitely have enough to uh, keep it maintained. What about Age of Deception? It is gone. It must have either been ended by Izo or Rautar disjuncted it. Domain of Winter's not very useful. Arcane Binding... Summoned unit or unit of magical orin origin. Uh, sure, let's go for that. It might work on Shadow Stalkers. We can't buy another tier 3. No, so we instantly lost the tier 3 that we got. Brilliant. Can you guys move? You can. So you can get the haste berries. And do that. And we're still waiting for poor old Lucius to catch up with his slow giant. I guess you just wait for this guy now. Lucius. Uh, you stay there. You need some healing up, actually. We could temporarily put the apprentice in there to help heal it up between turns. All that stuff in there. Uh, the main invasion in Eandon is just this guy. Which we should deal with pretty easily. You are moving somewhere... Oh no, he might turn around and kill you. Oh well. And we'll end turn. Do you want to cast anything? Don't have a huge amount of casting points, but we can... Say... Oh, Age of Magic is what we want to cast, obviously. What? Yeah, is a per turn. And, uh... Sure, let's do it. 660 mana to cast. But it's going to be awesome. And we need to try and... Uh, reinforce it immediately. What is this? Why is this all uncovered now? Uh, this is just you. We should be easily able to do this. Do you want to look at this hero? Or should we just auto it? Let's, let's fight it. Let's have a look at him and then we can end this episode. Slightly shorter episode. But those long ones take a really long freaking time to render and upload. And for YouTube to sort out as well. Still pretty annoying. Why are you so far back, archers? Get up there. Uh, yeah, just let this guy come. I don't... We could cast the thing. Could throw some chain lightnings out. From you. Why not? There's no... There's no limit to the range. Bone collectors look so awesome. There is the uh, hero. Level 20 hero they send at you. Dread Reaper, we've seen what they can do. That guy's going to revive after a couple of turns. Don't want to spend any of Marka's casting points because she's trying to cast that... Uh, Age of Magic thing. We'll put Star Blades on someone, why not? And an Eldritch Horror, where are you? Over here. 
I guess there's not much point staying inside our walls of our melee guys, so we might as well send them out, keep the fight outside. Malgus can just walk out the gate this time. You're ranged, so you can stay inside, but we need to move you over. We should have moved you over before, actually. And you. You get some ranged attacks on. Orc Razor Bow is not going to do a whole lot. Oh, crits! Does that mean two damage instead of one? Kind of. One and two. Orc Razor Bow, sure. Now, the Watcher does spirit damage, so it should be half decent against the Dread Reaper. Well, maybe. Not quite that great. You can't move. You can venture out. So can you, you're a melee unit. Storm Sisters should have moved you over before. Malgus, can you hit anything with your longbow? Nope. We've got some high elf archers, but you can't get up to a wall because they're all blocked. Oh, the greatsword can move out your way. There we go. You can only get one shot though. You can use your arcane arrows. That guy's almost dead. Black Priest can charge in and finish him off, maybe. Oh, maybe not. So we're going to put you here and use the Primal Scream. Now, if you hit Warcry, can you do it? Maybe, if you roll maximum on your fire damage. But let's not risk that. Let's risk it. Damn it, didn't get it. At least he didn't get um, panicked. No, the serpent. You can get this last hit, maybe, or maybe yes. Be pretty unlucky not to get this kill. There we go. Malgus can't do anything. Eldritch Horror can't do anything. I think everyone has gone. I think so. Oh, no, we have. You. You can't hit the hero, but you can hit this thing, do some decent damage. Pretty nice. Griffin Rider can also come down, join the party. You're moving over, that should be the end of the turn. That bastard's regrowing. Ouch! With that name I couldn't say. Magn Hildur. Bloody hell, taking a lot of damage over here. Why are you running away? Oh, you're, you're panicked, are you? You'd get hit by a walking pile of bones, so I forgive you for being panicked a little bit. You can move up. Inquisitor can come up. Can't hit the hero, but you'll do good damage here. And did it. So, uh, what's better to do? Probably arcane arrows. Oh, petrified her. How'd you like that? Where's Meander, dear? Uh, you're at it, even. Get your shot in. Ah, oh, range penalty. Can you get close enough? Get close enough to shoot your crossbow. Now everyone has to avoid Malgus as usual. You should be able to sprint and get there. Oh. Can you shoot from there? Nope. Uh, sure. Black Priest can come out. You're in range to attack. Oh, panicked and disgusted. You can't actually get close enough, which is infuriating. Neither can you. Don't go next to Malgus. Great sword can't get close enough. Damn it. Where does it matter? He's stunned. But look at that regrowth. Some guys got panicked and ran away. That's alright. Malgus. Get into melee, son. And you're panicked. Well done. 
Gonna give you the last triumphant hit. And you let me down. Give me some really good items. Man, that was like a 10 minute fight. Because bumbling around. That's why. Item has arrived. Alright, that weird weapon for Maka. To consume some corpses. This is pretend she's like consuming the life essence of the soul or something. So I don't want her to start eating things off the floor. Uh, so where's the pile of goodies? Here we go. A, a cursed arm of the tower ruin. Of the tower ruin. Okay. Regrowth on it, which is pretty damn nice. We'll send it to Etsinia. I don't remember what she has, but regrowth is awesome. There was... Or was it... Someone had a weak armor piece. It might have been... It might have been Etsinia. This is the plus 10 hit points, which is nice. Maybe Lucius can have that. Etsinia would be nice, but I think both of Etsinia's slots are taken. What is this? Oh, fearsome. Nightmare mount. Not really super useful for us. Oh, frost breath. That is awesome. Give that to Maka. Vile Tome of the Hag, Steel Enchantment and Throw Curse. Throw Curse is excellent. We will give that to Lucius, I think. And the Black Wand, which is the, just the basic Necromancer weapon. Where are you, Etsinia? You're up here. Now you have the strong... Oh, you have regrowth on here, but this thing has regrowth plus a bunch of other stuff. So who has the weak... You might be Marker. It's that corset looking thing. Yeah. So you can have what Etsinia is giving up. Here we go. Can we open? There we go. Give that to Marker. And then put it on. Ready. Where's all this stuff? Frost Breath. Oh, that would stay there. Epic Mount we don't want. What else did I give out? That was just a black one. This is some stuff here. Tome of the Hag. I'm guessing it stays where it is. Yeah. Plus in hit points, sure. Yeah, Senior, what do you have here? Inflict Dazzle. That's not too... Good, so you can be replaced. A shield. Yep, we love that. That's very nice, though. And that was it, I think. Yeah, we've got some good items. Heroes leveled up. It's Yurati. I'll remember your name soon. I guess we give him Stunning Touch. And uh, some more range strength, sure. Set to skill to research. Summon air elemental. Finally. We still don't have chain lightning for Marco, but that's going to be it for this episode. Going a lot better now. We've got these two vassals giving us some super, super income. We've got Age of Magic on the way. We've got our Chaos Rift doing some good stuff. We've got some powerful heroes. And then we've got Isoda Rat on the back foot. Maybe we'll go and grab this dwelling back soon. Thanks for watching guys, hope you enjoyed it and I'll see you next time.